Jason Snell, your pick of the week. My pick of the week. Is, so a while ago, I got a like a cheapish e-ink screen and a Raspberry Pi, and I had this project where I wrote a Python script that generates an image that burns onto the e-ink screen, and I made a little calendar. It was a fun project, but you know, I t I, I would tell people about it, and they're like nobody's gonna. Nobody else is going to do that, right? Like, it's not a product. This is a product version of that. And it's still nerdy, but it's much less nerdy, and therefore our audience might be interested in it. It's called Terminal. Ooh. It is, it is literally the same e-ink screen that I have, but in a beautiful case that is nice mm. and thin and well-designed and not, like, 3D printed and thick and all of that. You can prop it up. You can hang it. You can do whatever. It's got a battery in it, USB-C for charging Does it work the battery. With, uh, home Home Assistant? Uh, so here's so here's the deal with Terminal. Terminal has a plug-in system, oh. um, and it will also. By the way, they will. Uh, you can get their firmware. You can hack the firmware. You can run it off of a server that you control. But by default, you run it on their server. And the way it works is there are these plugins. You can create them yourself. Um, you can create as many of them as you want. You can query web sources. You can set the formatting. It's basically using a an HTML templating language on the server for these plugins. 